Let's take a look at the best settings for OBS. I will first show you the settings for recording and then I will after show you the settings for streaming. So first click on settings and the first you want to go to is output and click on the recording tab. Make sure your output mode is advanced. I always record in MP4 because it's a very compatible format. For the encoder, I usually use the 264, which is your processor. You can also use your graphics card as well, but I usually run into issues when I use my graphics card, so I just usually use the processor. And for your Freescale output, you want to have that selected and 1920 by 1080. And now for custom Muxer settings, if you have a lower end PC and you are getting lag spikes, then entering CFR equals 15 will sometimes help with the leg spikes. I actually found that it did help for me when I was using my old computer. Then coming down here now, rate control, I just use CBR, and your bit rate is one of your most important options for the quality of the recording. If you have a high-end PC with a high-end graphic card, then you can crank the bit rate right up to 10, 15, 20,000, depending on how good your setup is. But for lower end computers, you want to probably do 5,000, 4,000, 2,500. Keyframe interval at zero. And now this is your most important setting right here, which is your CPU usage preset. By default, it comes on very fast, and I found that's what worked for me. The way this works is for slower, lower end computers, you want to use super fast, ultra fast, very fast. And then the better your setup is, you can go up to faster, fast, medium, slow. This has the biggest impact on how smooth your recording is when it's finished. So if you have a laggy recording, I'd recommend trying super fast. And if that doesn't work, then try combining that with a couple other things that I'm showing in this video. It's not possible to just say the best settings for everybody, but using this video, you can use the settings and the guidelines to get the best settings that are going to suit you. Quickly take a look at audio, and you want to definitely turn your audio, audio quality up. You can do 256, 320, but definitely turn it up. Next, go to video, and this is going to choose if you're going to be recording in 720 or 1080. So normally, if I'm just taking a video of a desktop or a browser or something, I'll do 1920 by 1080 at either 30 or 60 frames per second. But again, this is a setting that has a big impact on the quality of your recording, obviously. So 1920 by 1080 is the hardest on the recording, and a lot of people might not be able to do it, at least while gaming, and if it's a high-end game. So if I'm gaming, what I usually do is I'll do 1920 by 1080. I'll try 60 frames per second, and if it doesn't work, I'll go down to 1920, 1080 by 30 frames per second. If that doesn't work for whatever reason, then I'll do 1280 by 720 scaled resolution. Always leave your canvas at 1920 by 1080, but I'll change my scaled resolution down to 1280 by 720 at either 30 or 60 frames per second. If you can't do 1080 uh, at 60 frames per second, then I'd recommend probably doing 720 at 60 frames per second if you're doing gaming because uh, the smoothness seems to have the best visual appeal rather than 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. And lastly, what you want to do is go to advanced, and there's one setting here, which is process priority for OBS. So I put mine to above normal, comes default on normal. If you're having laggy video again, then you can change it up to high, and it does change the quality. So all those settings I showed you in conjunction work together to give you the quality of your recording. Um, it's a matter of playing around with it a little bit and finding what looks best to you though. But I told you how all the settings work and you will definitely be able to figure it out. I will quickly show you streaming. All the other tabs apply to streaming. Pretty much all you need to change here is very similar to what I just showed you. The encoder is the same. Rescale your output to 1920 by 1080. CBR, my bit rate is 5000. And you want to use a higher bit rate for uh, higher end PCs and a lower bit rate for lower end PCs. Read the keyframe interval at zero. And the CPU usage preset, the same as I showed before, where slower PCs can choose very fast, super fast, ultra fast. And as your PC gets better, you go up faster, fast, medium, and slow. 
And this option right here, like I said, has the biggest impact on how the recording looks when it is finished. Anyways, this is the newest version of the settings. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to help in the comments. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos.